Hello guys and welcome to the first tutorial of my new and improved Blitz 3D tutorial series. So as you guys know this first tutorial is simply an introduction to the Blitz 3D programming language and all I've done here is I've opened up Blitz 3D uh, through the start menu right here uh, and I've created a new document through file uh, and new or simply by uh, using the keyboard shortcut control plus N. Uh, so, anyways, without further ado, let's actually get started in coding Blitz 3D. Uh, Alright, so let's actually create a basic program for this first tutorial, uh, simply by putting the graphics 3D command first, then putting 640 by 480 uh, next, and these are pretty much just two parameters. 640 means that uh, the window uh, that we're going to create that's going to pop up is 640 pixels wide and it's 480 pixels uh, tall and there are also two additional parameters uh, we can specify the color depth and also whether we want it windowed which is two or full screen which is one uh, I'm going to keep it windowed for this particular program and I'm running a 32-bit uh, Windows machine right now so now that we've actually gotten that first uh, first line of code down and notice that we're using graphics 3D, which means that we're coding in 3D, uh, which is pretty epic. Uh, we need to set the buffer to the back buffer, like so. And all this really does is it means that we're drawing to the back buffer, and I'll explain more on that uh, in, a, in, a, in a minute. But uh, we need to create a camera, and I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll clearly explain what that does, as well as a light. Light and all all these really are are objects so I mean camera uh, is we set it equal to create camera meaning that we have a new camera on the screen and a light to create light it just adds some light to our screen uh, those two simple objects and and we need a camera by the way just so uh, we could we pretty much our screen everything we see on the screen we see through this camera object and uh, how we move it or manipulate it is affects our display uh, and our light just adds some light to the screen lighting and right now we need to write while not key down one uh, render world flip wend end alright what the heck does this do alright so while not key down one it pretty much says while key key one is not down or is it not it's not pressed while that's not pressed, uh, we should run all the code in here. And I mean, we have no code in here for now, but you know, that's only for now. Uh, but while while the, the key one, which is the exit key, by the way, while that's not pressed, it wants to run this code here and render world. All that does is actually physically render our world and flip here. Uh, anything we draw in here gets flipped to the front buffer from the back buffer here. Uh, and the back buffer is kind of uh, like a separate screen that we draw to and this flip keyword just pretty much uh, flips it onto our current screen so that we can see it and when all that does is end this while loop here that we started here and end ends the program so uh, that's that's kind of your, your breakdown of a basic blitz program and uh, might, might as well create a primitive object say a sphere set it equal to create sphere uh, very handy command with uh, two parentheses. Now if we run this program now we will get nothing on the screen. I can actually show you that uh, by simply compiling it. There we go. We get absolutely nothing. A uh, nice 640 by 40 screen though. Uh, so to actually get something we need to position this uh, sphere by using position entity. Uh, it's another command, command. What's command? Position entity sphere comma zero comma zero comma five. Now these are x, y, and z coordinates um, of our sphere. Uh, it's in it's three. It's in three dimensions. Uh, this is the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and the z coordinate. Uh, uh, yeah, you might, as you might have guessed. Uh, so all that all we really need to do now is do now is run the program, and we will get an epic sphere looking right at us in the middle of the screen. Isn't that is that not epic? Uh, well. It's not too epic, but you know, it's okay, it's okay, you know. We've got room to progress. Uh, so anyways, now that we've we've really written this basic program, I guess uh, that's, that's probably enough for this, you know, startup tutorial. Next tutorial, we'll be doing some other cool stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys, and peace.